Jesse and Stacy with Chapter Chicks. I'm sick, so my voice is messed up. And we look awful because we're having my baby shower tomorrow, so we've been spending all day doing that. And in this video, we are going we're doing a guest post. Uh, we're letting Lindsay from the book blogger tell you all about her book that she is currently writing. We love her and we want to support her and her writing all that we can. So here's a video of her giving you a character profile on her book. Yeah. Take it away, Lindsay. Bookworms, my name is Lindsay Mead. I am a book reviewer on YouTube's The Book Vlogger. I am here to talk to you about my hopefully soon to be published book titled Exalta. It is book one in a set of four novels called The Guardian Novels. It is a young adult medieval fantasy about a girl named Elena who is the daughter of a thief lord. For most of her life, she has been protected by her father from the world and even kept separate from her father's thieves. When Exalta begins, Elena's home is under attack and she finds herself thrown into a world that she's never been able to experience on her own. Right now, I'm running a campaign on Kickstarter com which helps people get funding in order to do certain projects. This project is to help me get published. If you'd like to help me do that, click the link below, check out my campaign, watch my video, look at the rewards that are offered, and please consider pledging. I need to reach 5,000. If I do not reach 5,000, I don't get any money. No, nothing that's pledged will ever come to me and it'll take me a lot longer to get this book finished and put out there for you. All you guys need to donate is anywhere between one and ten dollars and I'll be there. If everybody donates that little, I'll be there in no time. And I'll get my funding and I can get my book to you ASAP. Also by clicking the link below you will find a link to my first chapter. So there you can read my first chapter and you can decide if you think my book's even worth funding. But to convince you even more that this book is worth it, I want to give you a character profile of the fairies in my book. No spoilers, don't worry about that. The fairies in my story are not exactly like the fairies that you see in most books. First off, they do have wings, but they're not the wings that you usually see. They're long, covering most of the back and even going past the hips, and their wings are covered in feathers, soft feathers, not like bird feathers, but more like the feathers you might find on a baby bird, or even kind of like the fuzzy wings that you see on a moth. Sometimes they're white, sometimes they're white with spots, and sometimes they're various shades of browns and blacks with different spots. They don't beat quickly like, say, a hummingbird or a tinkerbell. They beat slowly like you would expect a bird to move. Fairies also have two different forms. They have their human form and their fairy form, which basically just changes their size. They're either the same size as you and I, or they're much smaller, more like, say, that size. And they can shift from these sizes with just a simple thought, and the only proof that they've made this shift is the shimmering that you see come along with it that you would refer to as, say, fairy dust. This makes for some great action scenes with the fairies because when they battle, they can easily shift from their human form to their fairy form. So when you're watching them fight, they're there, then they're not there, then they are there, then they're not there, and you get this beautiful mist, and all the while, people are dying all around them. Fairies have two very interesting abilities besides the ability to shapeshift like that. First, they have the Orionic Stone, which is a star that was given to them by the goddess Amora. The legend goes that they helped the goddess, and in reward for doing that, the goddess threw a star into their leg, and that star broke to pieces and scattered, and it continues to grow rocks inside of their leg. And whenever fairies come of age, they are able to retrieve one of these rocks, and they become their Orionic Stone. These stones can do many things. They can use them to heal, they can use them as a weapon. They can use them to make marks. Um, the, the powers of the Orionic Stones are very mysterious and fairies are very secretive about it and they generally don't like to share it. Their second ability is to create living metal. This ability was given to them by the god Gardane, which is the god of the night. What living metal is, it's basically what it sounds like. It's metal, but it somehow seems like it's living. And they create it with whispering of words. For example, they could hold up their hand and they could whisper these words that are the ancient language of the gods and it would literally appear out of their finger and they could form a bracelet. And then with the whispering of one word, it will turn to dust and disappear. And they do this so that no one can ever come in possession of their living metal. They can create these amazing swords that never dull, that never rust. All fairies learn how to do this ability very young and they really use it. They incorporate it in their jewelry and in their clothing. A lot of times they'll have headdresses 
They'll have little swirling designs around their temples that wrap around their pointed ears and up through their hair, and they get really creative with it. The fairies are the second oldest living creatures in the world, second only to the elves. They are also ruled by three queens, and only three queens. The three queens rule over three different countries, three different fairy territories. The one that's featured the most in the Guardian novels is Arrakis, ruled by Queen Alcyone. Fairies are beautiful, they are tough, they are sometimes emotional, they are very old, and they are some of my most favorite characters in the story. If you'd like to learn more about the fairies and the land of Alagoth and everything else this world holds, please make sure you click that link below and pledge. Like I said, a dollar, five dollars, anything, it all adds up pretty quickly. I promise you, you will love this book. Thanks so much to everybody for watching this far, and thank you for checking out that campaign and reading that first chapter, and to all those who are going to pledge. A very special thanks to the chapter chicks. It's awesome that you guys let me do this. It really means so much to me. And as always, happy reading. Please make sure you click that link below and subs please make sure you click that link below. Please make sure you click that link below and please make sure you click that link below and <laughs>